subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay updated what is up you savages welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well now whenever the word developer options comes to your mind the first thing that you remember is the usb debugging mode which enable your device to be seen on your pc or laptop now there's a lot of fun things you can do to your phone's developer menu from usb debugging to speeding it up by disabling the animations now developer options menu is enabled by default in some android rom but in miui's latest developer rom it's already enabled now if you do not see the developer options the enabling it is pretty simple just go to settings then go to about phone and from there click on the me ui version couple of times until you see that you are a developer after that go back and go into additional settings and from there if you scroll a little bit down you will see the developer options now there's a lot of fun things you can do with the developer options and in this video we are going to explain the options that you can use or uh, have fun with in the developer options and without any further ado let's get started now the first option that you see is stay awake option now if this option is enabled then what will happen is if you are charging your phone via your adapter the phone will never sleep it will stay awake the the screen will stay awake no matter what happens as long as it's charging now the next thing you see is script, uh, skip screen lock here what happens is that the screen lock uh, will be disabled and whenever you are unlocking your device it will go straight to your home screen next thing is bluetooth hci snoop lock now what hci means is actually host controller interface now from some developers they will need to analyze the bluetooth packets so enabling this will place them in a file in the storage for retrieval and you can analyze them later on with like programs with uh, like uh, wires uh, wireshark so yeah this is a cool feature to have if you are a developer now process stats are actually like everything you need to know about the running processes on your phone so like in for the layman it's just a lot of numbers so if i enable it and just go to it it's everything that is going on on your phone on the background so everything that you need to know how much ram they're using and how much memory they're using that's the process stats now next is me ui unlock status it's mean it, it it shows you if it's uh if your phone is unlocked or unlocked if the bootloader is unlocked so yeah this is uh, the me ui unlock status then there's usb debugging and most of the people already know about the usb debugging mode because this allows your phone to communicate uh, over the usb to your computer via the android debug bridge or the adb this will like if you are enable this then you will be able to use the different things like the ddms or the adb commands and everything now there are a lot of other things that gets enabled when the usb debugging is enabled such as revoke usb debugging authorization that means if you do this then like all the computers that had the authorization to use your phone will lose it then install via usb means you will be able to install the apks from your computer via the uh, uh, via your usb to your uh, phone then there's usb debugging security settings which will like if it's, it's enabled then uh, like it will grant uh, any kind of input that is being done by the computer then there's fast boot mode which will be uh, which if it's enabled then your phone will be able to uh, you know flash roms and custom roms and all that via usb now allowing mock locations that now this setting will let you manually write location information like making your phone think that it is somewhere that it is not like uh, y y y you can make your phone think that you are in canada when you are like sitting in usa so this is a nifty feature in like if i think about it now then there's a lot of other things that are like uh, 
these are these things are pretty self-explanatory like enable Wi-Fi verbose lo logging, aggressive Wi-Fi to cellular handover now all those things now show touches is actually pretty neat like if it's disabled you cannot show the touches like right now if it's enabled then you can show where I'm touching the phone then there's quite a location which will like which will give you the tracing of my hand movement and also if you look at this place right here over the notification bar you will be see you will be able to see the x y z coordinates of my pointer now then there is show surface updates now this is a cool thing to if you want to trick your friends or you know then enable it and whenever you touch the phone the phone will flash and what this means is it, it actually will happen like it will show you the updates of your phone uh, of your phone hardware and software and th th this is a cool thing if you want to uh, trick your friends that your phone is broken or something like that now show layout bounds which will like this is actually if you want to you know have a theme of your own though I do not recommend it this thing actually shows you every layout of your phone and I think this uh, no one should actually use it like it makes the edges of all the elements in a dialogue so you know where any touch will activate it so like but don't use it too much now the force RLT layout direction actually if you enable it you understand as like as soon as you enable it you understand what it does what it actually does is like it forces the screen orientation from right to left for language support so yeah now there's the these three things i think most people are already uh, familiar with these things this actually the animations that happens the pop-ups and everything that we do when we touch and like if i press home and the animations or the transitions that you see it uh, fastens and slows it down if i give it to animation scale on 10 then it will happen very the things will happen very slowly see things happen really very slowly and if i give it to off then like it will look like there's actually no kind of animation so i keep it to a minimum i keep it to 0.5 and you can use it uh, as you want now simulating secondary displays actually enables a uh, developer to uh, cast another different sizes of display over the, the screen of the phone and it's actually handy if you are a developer as you can see i have another secondary display which actually mirrors everything that i'm doing right now on my screen so yeah now force a gpu rendering is it's actually like forces application to use the hardware 2d rendering if they were written like in tone or to use it by default sometimes this does wonders but other times everything goes to hell so be careful there now the next thing is show gpu view updates now with this setting any view that is drawn by the gpu hardware gets a red overlay now it will not uh, you, if you are not a developer then you it has no like it has no kind sort of application for you so yeah i don't actually recommend you using it now there is show hardware layers update what it actually does is like it this setting will tell you when the hardware layers update and as like the same thing happens for the gpu view updates it does not do anything if you are not like if you do not know uh, know about anything or if you're not a developer then there is force 4x msaa now what msaa means actually it is like uh, the multi sample anti aliasing so like any other computer graphics uh, hardware more aa man, makes things look better but the performance takes a hit so if you enable it it will the graphics of your phone will look really really good but uh, the performance will uh, not be so good so yeah if you are playing a game i recommend uh, like if you want to enable it then please uh, remember to use the performance mode uh, from your phone be uh, remember to enable it so yeah this is what uh, the performance mode does the 4x msaa does 
now next let's talk about the simulate color space and that is a favorite thing of mine now this if you if it's disabled by default but if you go to monochromacy then everything will turn into black and white and i think it's a really good way to you like if your phone is in under 15 percent of battery then you can use a monochromacy and everything like you your display will have to show less colors i mean I'm not less colors it doesn't have to show any kind of colors it will go into your monochrome mode and if you are not even using it for uh, saving up your battery it actually looks really nice if you want to use it you can but like it's not that nice that you use it every day so yeah then there's also other modes where like red and green then there's red and green and blue and yellow and my personal favorite is actually blue and yellow it looks like the icons look really neat and nifty so yeah use it as you wish now if that that's disabled and next let's talk about don't keep activities which will actually destroy every activity as soon as you leave it like uh, if it's enabled then no background uh, activities will be kept like if you minimize everything and that will be destroyed now background standard process like in the background you can Keep as much right now you can keep as much apps open as you want but if it's if you do not want anything to be run on background then you can click the no background process or one process or two process as much as you want now memory optimization and um, mini UI optimization is a new thing added now if you are using uh, the like some uh, um, redmi as uh, like if your phone has above two gigs of ram then you do not need to think about it but if you have low uh, low memory then you can turn it off and i think it will uh, uh, save you some kind of uh, memory now the mi ui optimization if and this is the same thing about it if you have a lot of memory then you do not need to worry about it but if you're using a phone that has lower ram then i recommend you uh, turning it off so this was it for today guys hope you guys like the video and if you guys did then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you are new to this channel then yeah please subscribe and let me know if you like this video and as always thanks for watching be safe be savage